All right, we are back on this morning. Okay, so um, <coughs> I did end up playing a little bit yesterday, but we actually have a game room set up where there's a lot of gaming systems and computers and stuff set up. So when other people are in here, it's kind of hard to do um, voiceovers and streaming. So I actually didn't record any of that. I did some like non-voice oriented videos yesterday like where I beat the dragon things like that um, <clears throat> and those are on YouTube but so basically to catch up I kind of finished out Exalted Plains yesterday oops um, just had that one I'm stuck on Exalted Plains are there Empress du Leon I finished that one yesterday and I have um, been just finishing up a couple other little quests too. So I actually went to Val Royo's this morning before I started streaming and went shopping to see if I could find some decor. I know that one of the achievements was for buying it so none of the people at Skyhold's been showing it so I thought maybe if I ran up to Val Royo I would see it and I did. So um, so I got these windows which I chose the Dalish one since my girl is Dalish and they're actually pretty cool and then I just actually got some bed options from there so um, there's a guy there that says sells the decor and the um, also sells some like books and stuff you may have missed so if you missed any of the books I think along the way or maybe they're additional to the codex I don't really know he sells those so I also bought those as well so okay so I actually just wanted to run up here real quick and check out what these windows look like and what that bed looked like and that painting part is pretty new too that's kind of cool I noticed that um, Solus had that in his area okay so now I'm actually headed to do the quest here lies the abyss I'm gonna actually go meet Hawks Warden Alley in Crestwood so I'm about done with this all the sub stuff oh I did finish um, yesterday I did finish up my um, so let's take Blackwall instead of Cassandra. I did finish up the Shards um, tomb and got that. I recorded the final fight with that, with the Prideful Demon. So, um, but I did finish that up because I got the last of the Shards in Empress Duleon gave me enough to open that last door. So I was able to do that and that gets you an achievement for Keymaster. So I did record that final fight. It shows where you get that achievement when you beat it. That's up on YouTube as well. So um, that's, I think that's kind of all I got done yesterday. And today I'm hoping to kind of get back. It's, I've been just, you know, clearing areas for a while now. Haven't really done anything a part of the, you know, what I would consider the primary storyline in a while. So should be interesting to get back there. Good to see you safe, Inquisitor. Well, we've got trouble ahead. All the Red Templars here. There's a few up in the hills, but for once, they're not our biggest problem. What is? Um, Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the Blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, Corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. More walking corpses. At least they won't be a surprise. I nearly stepped on one in the grass the other night, before it started moaning. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows they'll want help. Good luck, and please be safe. All right, for some reason, I was reading this <laughs> Crestwood as being something I just had to go talk to, and I don't know why, because I knew better. So it looks like I will have to clear this area as well before I will be considered done. And okay, that's good. All right, so let me save it. So as you can see, I'm up to 91 hours in this game, so it has been a lot 
of gameplay. So that's kind of just, I'm just kind of glancing around here to see what's showing up on this map already. So there's only two camps. So this looks like, I'm guessing it's going to be similar to the fellow mayors. Um, this is fire requisition officer, yeah. But we'll take it. I usually do at least one in every area, so. Oh, that's uh, an easy one. So I'm going to fill this one time and then I'm going to be done. She's going to pop it up again, but I don't do it more than once anymore after the nightmare of continuing to do it and finding out that you didn't need to. That was kind of <laughs> oh, frustrating. Oh, I did find another bug last night with um, exalt, um, Exalted Plains. I had one region not there and I was trying to figure out why I was showing that up because I knew I had cleared the, you know, the black off the map and there is a known bug with it. So I have, just so you know, be prepared. Uh, I did not mean to go that way. Um, that you won't get 21 or 21 on the regions in that area. Some people are saying that they did, but um, people are arguing that wasn't true because they didn't upload proof or something, but it was multiple forms of multiple posts about not being able to do that. So if you get 20, consider it completed because it's a bug and it doesn't look like they're fixing bugs on this game anytime soon which is kind of typical maybe the locals will lend us a boat and that's how we're gonna get there a boat sounds like This is like a mix between Storm's Coast and Falomir, I think, in terms of design, so. Alright, so let's see what the first little guys are. So frustrating. What are you doing in Craftwood? Warden named Stroud is wanted for questioning. We heard he passed through here, but the villagers knew nothing. They have troubles enough. What have you been told about this rogue warden? Warden Commander Clorel ordered his capture. I can say no more than that. I hope Sir Stroud comes with us peacefully. I trained under him for a time. He's a good man, I'm sure of that. Will you stay to fight the undead here? My orders are forbidden. Crestwood was only a detour. Is that all the aid we can offer these people? If the Inquisition can help, I beg you to do what you can. The villagers have already lost too many. Farewell. Farewell. Sir, are you sure we can't help the village? Our orders are clear. If we can't find Warden Strow, we return to the commander with all haste. Still don't feel right. I know, but if I judge our orders rightly, harder decisions await. None of those wardens mentioned a new leader. I don't think they're part of Corypheus' plot to seize the order. Or some of the best liars I've ever seen. No, you're right. They're probably clueless. I hope Hawk's warden friend has answers for us. Alright, so that's the first time I've seen anything in um, relation to wardens besides since I found Blackwall in terms of meeting wardens or seeing wardens in the game. So hopefully we'll find out what the heck is going on with them because it seems like they've been kind of um, missing in action in terms of what's going on. So hopefully nothing too bad. All right, so let's take a look. And that's Chris. So this is kind of just how I usually do areas, just grab a direction, run it. Um, sometimes I run in terms of quest. When it's brand new like this, I just kind of pick a direction. 
and run around. That's what we're going to do today. I am anxious to see what the city is going to have to say about all this stuff going on. But I heard a dragon. I was about to say that would be awesome because I need exactly one dragon left. Looks like the people didn't like the mage. All right, yeah, so I was kind of hoping we would get a dragon because I'm worried I missed one in one of the areas and I want to get all my dragon kills in. So, and I don't like to Google for any kind of spoilers. So, Kind of hoping that we find one in this zone since I did, this is the last one before moving on to the main story mission. Oops. Let's not pass that money up. to go in. Ah, oh, no. So let's run around and take the keep then. And then we will come back around and hopefully open that up. So it looks like we triggered a mission by going to that door. is why I love Iron Bull. He is the best guy in this game. Alright, let's bust that door open. Ooh, let's put that. I really wish you could have one of the dogs in this one. I think it was um, Dragon Age 1 you could have the dog. And I loved having that little dog and I wish you could still do that. I would oops, I pick that up. I would really love to have the dog again. I keep hoping like somehow we'll find a way to get a dog, but all we've been doing is killing them, which is really sad. I don't want to kill all the dogs off. I want to have them as pets. Oh, we missed a guy. Blackwall and Iron Ball seem to do a lot of talking, which is um, really cool. I like to have teams that talk a lot. Okay, let's head here. We're going to clear out this fort. And there's quite a few guys here.
God, it's the amount of stuff to pick up. Okay, now let's go back to killing people. Sorry, the camera angles sometimes are really weird in this game, so... When you go into, like, little rooms, it's hard to kind of see the whole room from the angle. I don't think I need any supplies. Most of the time in these things now, I guess from clearing areas and getting significantly higher level than what you would be if you just ran the storyline stuff. I am... Um, it's crazy easy to beat these things anymore. I about jumped off the top of that. I saw a landmark when we first came in here. We must have passed it. Ah, it's on the outside. Come back to that. Let's claim this fort. Every time it does that, I expect like somebody to say anything and it doesn't. And yay, I must have claimed enough forts and areas or something to get an achievement. That's awesome. I have, like, got tons of achievements the last two days. I don't know what, I guess I must be wrapping up a lot of stuff. So that's pretty cool. And now to set up the loading. I'm going to try to just avoid that little cutscene and get right to the loading. Because for some reason at the forts it takes a while, and I'm guessing because it's changing the whole look of it and bringing a bunch of people in and that kind of stuff, so it's a little bit slower. And her gear is really awesome. I got that off a of dragon yesterday, and I really like it. It is pretty cool. That was insane. That popped like right beside where I was standing. Holy cow. Okay, let's see what she has to say. Did Sister Nightingale tell you why she wanted agents here? We lie on the main road between Denerim and Val Royale. Couriers stop here all the time. For what they're paid, some have surprisingly loose tongues. When's the spy named Butcher supposed to arrive? Half hour ago, by the south gate. I hope he's only delayed. Butcher's last message swore he had a secret. Ten times his weight in gold. What's happening in Crestwood? The roads are nearly deserted. Too many undead keep rising from the lake. I should be going. Another time. Alright, so it looks like we are going to be on the hunt while this has got... I don't think I need to refresh, but we'll rest just in case. I should probably look before I did it. Anything here I care about? Nope, I don't need to do any of that. Nor that. So let's kind of look what's on this map. That's where we want to go, I think.
and get back up top. Oh, I should pay closer attention. That looks pretty cool. Alright, let's see if we can find our way. Up top. Something that's going to take us. I uh, went out, not up. back around here. Didn't we see... A second ago, I thought I saw... We saw a... I do not think it was this direction, though. I'm going to have to come back and figure out. But this was not it. It's like some little prison area underneath that place. We'll have to find our way back around, figure out where we came from there. We'll check this out first. Yeah, come get that on the way back by. A tavern. Alright, I think we just walked in on two people. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting when I saw... <laughs> when it said I was loading into a tavern, but it must have been an old tavern. It looks like we have to get some kind of key from a mayor, so we'll come back this direction. And I've already read that one. It looks like it was a tavern. I'm guessing it people got scared off from here when the rift started, so maybe this place would be really cool after we if we can ever get to that rift and clear it. So we'll leave the two lovers to what they're doing and head back out. to come back here and see what this place looks like. Hopefully they um, really fix it up after we get rid of that little rift out there. It'd be kind of cool. And I also need a couple more songs for that achievement, so hopefully we can get those songs here, because I would... That tavern in Skyhold hasn't been really singing songs. She's been, like, quoting poetry and stuff, so... Hopefully that will come up soon. So we need to go back around and figure out how to get to the top again, now that they've changed the layout. I 
and it, it's not this direction, so we uh, to keep looking around. So it looks like we got a war table mission. It's like the third one I think I've gotten since I've been here, and I have not been here that long. Oh, where is the stairs? That's not what I wanted. Let me see if I can figure it out from this map. Take a sip. Kill bandits. Well, let's find that landmark and then we will get out of here and try to find that little go back to this up here. See if we can get into it. As I think it said I needed to capture the fort before we could get in the cave, so we will do just that. exactly is this? Might be on the outside. How do you like being described? Grizzled or masculine? Do I really have a choice? No, I was just being polite. Going with grizzled then? that way. Okay, looks like I will find a way out to where this landmark is. Let me jump. Let me jump. Now, it looks like they've been getting used by those highwaymen because they got nasty dead bodies hanging from it. It's totally gross. Alright, let's go back here and check that. What is this? Oh, it's that rift. Let's see if we can get in and then we will move on down the road. And a cool statue. Uh, 
Alrighty. Oh, I mentioned in the last video I think about showing my mount, but I didn't do that, so we can use this opportunity to do that. So here's the mount I've been using. I thought about doing like a um, video just showing all the different mounts. Because there are some cool ones. And he's my favorite. He reminds me of the mount that, um, and as you can see, makes a totally awesome noise when you're trying to run with him. Um, he reminds me of the mount Thrandrill uses in The Hobbit. And I always thought that was such a cool mount. Um, so that's what he kind of reminds me of. Big old moose. It's awesome. He's my favorite that I've had, so... I might try to make a video and show the different mounts, just so you can see what they are and what they sound like, things like that. Because a lot of them are just purchases, so... Now, if you're not going to do, you know, 90-some hours in this game, you can um, make sure you just buy the mount you want, rather than getting enough money to buy them all. Ugh, spiders, I hate spiders. Some kind of recipe. That light coming in is pretty cool looking. It's kind of pretty. Ooh, it's bright. I like that. I am taking a screenshot of that. Because that's pretty cool looking. Looks like that's going to take us out, so let's make sure we cover the bottom half here. The way I typically try to clear caves is um, if there's more than one way to go, I try to just glance down each way and see which way I think might be the way that's actually taking you out of the cave and then, or taking you to the final destination, like if it was a cave that has. Um, where you know you're getting to something like the big tomb or something like that. I usually try to guess which direction. I kind of go down it a second and see if that looks like it's um, progressing even further forward or if it looks like it might come to a dead end. And then that I usually back up and go to the one I think's a dead end or if I think that one's a dead end, obviously go down it. So just kind of how I clear um, things like that. Hi. Would have never found that. I haven't actually looked for the mosaic pieces too hard, so it's been strictly just luck of running across them. I think I have two or three of them completed, so wow, I did not picture popping through that door. Um, so I'm kind of just doing those as I go. What is this one? Okay, that's helping them. I'm kind of just glancing to see what's on this map, because I'm trying to decide if I want to actually take this road to the camp or come back and go up through here. I guess I'm just going to continue down the path of taking the road to the camp. So let's just mark the closest little quest here and head that direction. The nice thing about getting the camp open is then if I need to um, travel around a little bit and it'll save some time to get the camp so we will head that direction and see what we find. And I am not on the road so I'm sure I'm not going to find highwaymen off the road. So I say, it said I got, got a region, wasn't popping it up. It was delayed a second. So I haven't actually done anything with um, the multiplayer stuff that's in this game. It's just been strictly playing single player. I didn't really buy the game for multiplayer, so it wasn't something I was just, you know 
dying to find out. Um, but I would love to know what other people are thinking about, like if they think the multiplayer is awesome and amazing or trash and they just tagged it onto a game that didn't really need multiplayer, which they seem to do a lot lately. Um, every game has to have multiplayer and I cannot for the life of me understand why because God, the lightning bolts here that hit right beside your character are crazy. Let's climb this. So let's walk in here and see who's in here. But yeah, so I feel like they just add multiplayer just to add it. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, so I wasn't thinking it was going to be very promising. I haven't really read anything on it. As I said, I try to stay off uh, reading too much online, unless it's extremely specific things, like things I think might be bugs in the game, because I don't want to know any spoilers. I'm still like to, you know, kind of come across stuff as I do it, so. So I'm kind of hoping that, but, I, so I don't know. So if you guys have played it, I would love to know. So you're waltzing into the keep now, nice as you like. Suppose we can't tell someone like your ladyship what to do. Let's talk about your dark and troubled past. Excuse me? Well, you have one, of course. Someone dear to you, someone you failed to save. Or a grave error in judgment, causing too many deaths. <laughs> I've known a couple of people like that. Oh, maybe betrayal, that's always good. No. Well, you've got to give me something. <laughs> no, I don't. This conversation is over. Hmm. Touchy. <laughs> Blackwell is so grumpy in this game. And it's fun to have them because um, in your party when you have Iron Bull and like Barrett, because they're always talking trash. So I'm it's really good. Before. Don't you have somewhere better to be? And she is a complete butthead. Wow, that was unnecessary. I'm gonna help her clear out all those bandits and live happily ever after, and she's gonna talk trash. Well, isn't that just nice? All right. So that's some people that I guess are trying to help stop the bandits with really crappy attitudes. And I actually ended up going the direction I was not trying to go. So we're going to run back this way and we'll come back through here later. We were actually on the hunt for highwaymen. Oh, I got it. I have my um, speakers turned up on my headphones and I highly suggest <laughs> when you first come to this zone turn it down from what you normally play in other zones because that lightning when it strikes right beside your character oh my god scare the crap out of you it's so loud so I have turned my headset down but do it before you get here and you won't you know have to Kill your eardrums one time before you figure that out. Alright, so let's find this. Even for them, let's be careful. She hollered about red Templars, and I don't see anything. I mean, I'm guessing they're around. You see this freaking red lyrium crap everywhere. But she shouted about it, but I don't see anything. I'm guessing it's just the whole idea that there's all this red crap. Ah, yeah, here they are. Hopefully that'll get them. Yep. 
worked beautifully. The fact that these red Templar guys turn into this, like, I don't know, animal carcass thing? It's funny because everybody, a lot of them just leave, like, that little big pile of green mush, but the red Templars leave the little carcass. It's kind of gross. Alright, so we are at an atrium, so I am actually going to save it because it's been a while. And we are going to try to solve this, so let's see how this goes. Some of these are really easy and some of them take me like 20 times to figure them out. So this one doesn't look as hard as they have been. I'm trying to decide how I want to start. I think you can actually do some of these different ways. That's not going to work. So I'm trying to figure out the best direction to run this. So just it takes a couple times for me to get this figured out. I think we might have it this time. Yep, there we go. Let's see who he is. Chaos. Or chaos. Ah, so there's going to be two more of those here, so we will try to get those done. It is a lot of keys in this area. I really did not expect. I was kind of expecting this to be more of a questy type area, not a big open area. For whatever reason, I must have just misread that. Because I was thinking this is going to be quick, and then I was going to be on to the next big missions in the game. And that is not so. It looks like I'm going to be here for a while. So we will. Hoping to wrap that up today. I'm actually tomorrow for Martin Luther King Day. Our work gives us either we get to choose this holiday or President's Day. We get to choose one to take a day off. So I'm actually chose tomorrow. So I'm hoping that I can get a lot of game time in the next two days. My kids are out of school too. The other rogos so. They will be wanting to do a lot of gaming, so it'll be... We get to play a little bit more, because they were kind of into it then. And they'll be dirt biking some too, so kind of be back and forth, but... Yeah. It feels like since I'm getting and you know... Granted, I don't really know how far I am um, in terms of storyline, main storyline. I, I would have guessed there would have been this part and then one more part, um, that they may not have as many open areas on the next part, I don't know. But it feels like a lot of the um, quests, I mean the achievements and stuff, and a lot of the like little side stuff like, like those um, bottles of wine, things like that, are really starting to wrap up. So I'm starting to think that we are, I'm getting close to the end of the game. Which, at 90 hours, is nothing to complain about. It's a lot of time on a video game for it to provide, especially nowadays, most games don't give you, you know, 10 hours. So, um, I expect that from some games like Walking Dead, Telltale's Walking Dead. Um, other games, not so much. So I've been really, really, really happy at this game. I think it's really pretty in graphics. I think that um, the gameplay's been pretty good. There's some minor stuff. You know, the view gets kind of wonky sometimes. Um, 
the the bugs. I've not run across too many. Um, but there is, and you know, the, the biggest problem is they don't seem to support fixing the bugs after they find them. And it's been a lot of bugs that really bug people. Uh, <laughs> bug people. Um, there's a lot of bugs that really aggravates people because it's completion bugs, like things that stop you from being able to get full completion on a game. And if you are really hardcore into that, this game is going to be super frustrating because um, there's a lot of stuff like that. And some of them I think you can solve by going back and to previous save times and kind of running it that way, but who wants to do that? I kind of go with thing, I'm going to clear as much as I can as I can find it. Um, I'm not going to do any research online to find out like where the things are. I'm just going to kind of wander around, find it myself, and if I find it, great. If I don't, I don't. Move on. Um, I try to clear all the quests I know about in the zone. I try to clear the map in terms of open the map up so it's not so blocked out. Um, but in terms of being like really um, super strict on the fact that I have to have all the mosaic pieces and all that before I'll move, I'm not, I haven't really done that. Um, I would love to have them all, the really, and mostly, not necessarily for what you find out about them. I mean, that's kind of cool, but there's so much codex in this game. They're not providing a ton, but it, in terms of, they look really cool in Skyhold, so. Okay, so it looks like we're done with this little area. So I kind of just gonna go with that. We'll see what I end up up end up with at the end once I, I beat the game. I'm not one who goes back into the game to finish things up. So once I am done with, once I beat the main storyline and I have completed that final quest, I'm not gonna go back in the game and try to, you know harvest more obsidian if that does something um, or you know go find the last maybe if there was like literally one piece so I usually just sorry I pause I like to hear what they have to say um, so unless it's maybe like one, I might do it, but nine times out of ten I'll move on. I have really wanted to get it. I've like had a really hard time lately wanting to even um, continue down clearing areas, like just finish it up because I really want to play Shadows of Mordor. Um, I love Middle Earth and the whole Tolkien universe thing he's created. So. Um, the game looks so good though, especially on PS4. I heard PS3, not so much, because um, I bought it for my son. He's kind of into um, Lord of the Rings and that kind of stuff. So um, I actually went, so when I looked it up, people were saying like, don't get the PS3 version, only get the PS4. I don't know about that. I couldn't equate that. I haven't seen either one. I swear I keep hearing a dragon. I hope that's true. Um, so I'm really wanting to play it, and I saw that it was picked on, um, and you know, take it for what it is, it is Game Informer, and sometimes their opinion is good, and sometimes it's crazy, but it's an opinion. Um, I saw that a lot of them had picked it as what they thought would be best game of 2014, so I had seen it uh, when my son plays it, I hadn't really paid too much close attention to like, you know, what goes on exactly in terms of gameplay and stuff. I just happen to see him playing it while I'm playing this, and it looks really cool, so I'm really, really wanting to check that out, so. I have no idea what that is, I just got, it's a wedge of cheese of destiny or something, which is weird. It's a shield. We have to see what that looks like. I hope it looks like a big block of cheese. It does. Holy cow, that is so stupid. Uh, so stupid. And it has a knife in it. My god, that was stupid. Alright. 
Okay, let me give him back the one that actually is good. I guess if it was, like, better than what we had, maybe I would use it. That hammer's kind of cool, too. I think most of the stuff I get now is just so low level. It's not going to be useful for anything. Oops. <laughs> okay, well... We got a wedge of cheese as a as a shield. It's kind of interesting. All right. Let's see if we can get back to the road here, which is originally what we were trying to get to. Just a whole lot of wandering around today. Nah, I don't feel like going all the way back. Is that a rift? Yeah, that looks like a rift. We'll come back. There we go. There's our friends we were looking for. <laughs> Dead. And it looks like we have actually landed in Crestwood as well, so... Yeah, we're missing some bandits. We'll have to hunt up and find out where they are at. And ah, oh, thought he was attacking somebody else. Oh, let's go on up into the camp. Maybe we can get lucky and find those last two bandits. They're obviously still here in this area because they've got. It up. I'm just checking to make sure I really hard to look for loot and stuff after you set the camp up. It's because you end up getting so many things popping and uh, I see the red dot so we have found the bandits. I probably should have done that before I loaded. Yay! Another achievement. See, it's what it feels like where I'm really starting to wrap up a lot of the game here. Uh, nope, it's dogs. I don't know if I've killed a ram either, so we're going to do that too. Discovered Old Witter's Farm. God, this area is so weird. Alright, I did those. Find the butcher. He's right there. So, we're going to go ahead and do that rift. We're right beside it. And then we will carry on with the rest. Alright. That disrupted used to matter a lot, like I had to do that constantly in order to be able to um, kill the rifts, but now... I could just kill the guys before the rift even starts to spawn more people, so it's not as important anymore as it once was. These used to be crazy hard. And I'm guessing it's just literally the level I'm at for the area I'm in because I can really fly through a lot of the extra stuff. The dragons are still hard. Um, they still take some skill and that's more I think a lot of um, game endurance. We're gonna go up there. Just gonna check in here real quick. Um, 
you know, because it's a long fight, so you got to pay attention a long time. Um, but everything else has gotten a lot easier lately. That sounds exactly like Plants vs. Zombies. I'm guessing it's a little nod towards that game. That's more dogs fighting a ram. We're gonna leave those alone. I don't care about those. Just trying to find these last highwaymen. There's one. Yep. <laughs> he was invisible. That was kind of funny. I don't know if maybe it was a skill of his, or if he literally was some kind of weird thing about the game. close to find the butcher. So let's go and do another one of the atriums that are here and then we'll come back to the butcher quest. The hardest one I've done yet I think is in the hinterlands like at the very beginning when you start doing them. That was that one was hard like it took a a lot of tries to get that one right. It had a um had a lot of going back and forth. I really did not think I was ever going to get that one. I was, it was pretty early in the game, so I was kind of like, oh my god, I can't do all these. I'm going to end up quitting this. Little grass topped house is kind of cute looking. It wasn't, so it tore down some. Um, there's a quest in there. Go in here and look. Let's see what she says. It's a bad time to come knocking. Between the corpses and the wyvern, nothing here is safe. What I wouldn't give to get my hands on that animal. Do you farm out there? The name's you. I farm and I mend things for the village and people passing through. I did a fair trade with traveling merchants before the undead started attacking. Not to mention that dragon. Seriously, why does anyone live out here? Oh, yay, a dragon. What do you know about the dragon? She moved in a month ago. The guards tried to run her off, but she snapped one's head off and she flew away. Poor Hamald. At least it was quick. Since then, she's eaten three horses, five goats, and two cats. There's a wyvern causing trouble. It used to hunt in the mountains. It didn't bother anyone but the bandits. <laughs> Lately, the beast got it in his head to come down here. It almost crippled Gold's little boy. Best someone kill it. I hope I get my hands on the liver. It makes a poison that kills rats like nothing. I killed the wyvern up in the cave. The body's yours if you want it. As I do. Here, for your troubles. I hope you can make good use of it. Alright. So it does look like there's possibly a dragon around here. We will see, because I swear I keep sound like I'm hearing them, so hopefully so. Alright, so let's check out this next atrium. And I should have probably pulled up the map earlier. Okay, so the one I did earlier is right here, and the one I'm doing now is here. So if in terms of map, 
You start here at Northgate Camp. So if you follow the road down, you obviously can come and take the fort. Um, Care Bonchik, I don't know, whatever. Um, come on down the road. You'll see it'll show you an option to get a camp here, the Three Trout Farm Camp. That will be close to the A Strand. If you just come around that road, the road leads you right to it. And then this one, if you take the road down, kind of come through, you'll land right here on top of the A Strand. And it is right beside that farm. So. All right, so let's check it out and see if we can get this one done as easily as the last one. I hope so, because a lot of these can be hard. And this one has a bazillion points. All right, so let's see how we want to do this. So we're going to try it a couple times, see how we get. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So let's try this again. Start here. And then let's go here. Let's see tell if these are connected or not, so we're going to assume they are. It's kind of hard to tell from this picture. Yes, got it. Alright, so the Constellation Silent Tear. to go. So we're going to take a pause here and I'll be back on later.